In the last episode, my dad and I drove over 600 kilometers across Newfoundland to look at a nearly 50-year-old RV, a GMC Vandura RV built by Corsair. Now I express to you my thoughts of doubt, my feelings of anxiety with the purchase, really wondering if it's the best or if it's just too big of a project, too much of a mess to clean up. So what do you think we decided? Stray my car is behind me, sorry! For being this cool! Let's see if we can get out of here. We've got to get it to a gas station now. Gas up the tank, we had to bring gas in a jerry can to get it going. Get some gas in the tank. A can of sea foam. Got a copy. Okay, try to keep up back there. I might uh, I might put diesel on her instead, a little bit cheaper. Fifty-two thousand original miles. All gauges seem to work. Heater works great. Toasty in here. Can of sea foam in the tank. Fresh tank of gas, probably for the first time in years. She's gonna like that. Hmm. No power pedals. You're not stuck. So she's showing you a gas gauge. Uh, see, I there's three lines like this. Yeah, quarter, half, three quarters, and the F is full. Is that what you assume? Yeah. Okay, so she's almost three quarters. Almost three quarters. Yeah. Okay. Pull over here now and. Uh, what are we doing? Just arrange it. Take the stuff down up here. Just to save my life. Okay. There's a bunch of garbage and furniture left up in the top of the house here, which is a bit of a hazard because it's sort of above my head. So we're going to just rearrange that, set things up so we can uh, be safe. Baby's right there on the, each side of my ear. Two new fan belts there, huh? Hey? Two new fan belts there. So here's what I was saying guys, top is cut out here, so but all the stuff up here, if I were to hammer down, smoke smoke rubber off the lights, this stuff could come back and come in on me here. Just out on the highway for the first time. Now remember that we are nearly 600 kilometers drive from home and yes we are attempting to drive it in this 50 year old RV that has been sitting for 10 years. Will we make it? Woo! The house is rattling. She's a little drafty in here. She is noisy with that house stripped out. Going up a big hill here now, first thing. We're slowing back. The stream of cars behind me, sorry! For being this cool! First stop guys, we are uh, 45, 50 minutes drive out the highway. A place called Whitburn. You guys from Newfoundland will know exactly where I am. We drove from way down to, out to Killigrews, 
So we're here now, and this thing is running smooth. It does like fuel, and it is very noisy, but man, it runs smooth. I am <laughs> really impressed and excited. This big shock on here catches a lot of wind, but we might be correcting that issue in the future. We'll see. People drive by, seem to keep looking. I guess they like the the paint scheme. I don't don't really know what it is. We are stopped here for a pee break. I told Dad he could have used the bathroom here, but uh, I don't know if he's got something against the machine or, or or the bathroom doesn't like the bathroom accommodations here. I don't know, but you, just, you can't please some people. My bathroom not good enough for you. Whoa, thanks. And you could have used my bathroom. No, is that right? I just found an old windshield wash bottle. That one I used. <laughs> Man, just listen to this thing idle. I know. This big steel box back here had been rattling like crazy enough that Dad driving behind me can can hear it. So we're uh, I brought a bunch of tie wire, so we're cranking it now. Let's rock! Oh, come on, there we go. Now, unless you're feeling like scraping rubber off the front of your truck, you best stay back because I'm about to light them up. <laughs> okay, I'll hold back. Here we go, hammer down. Coming right out of, right onto the highway, going up hill. Woo! The thing doesn't even smoke. I've been keeping in touch with Dad. We've done some big hills. Not a draft of blue smoke, white smoke, nothing. Clean as a pin. Oh yeah. Just gonna dribble a little bit of caffeine and carburetor there. I said the first little sign of trouble there guys not really trouble but I was driving and the, the vehicle just got uh, a bunch louder fairly quick so I'm thinking I burned out I'm thinking I burned out an exhaust donut or or something like that it got a lot louder After these two, you're good, to go. yep. good? guys will definitely hear it there now. Either I, I split the exhaust, it's been sitting so it's rusty, split the exhaust or lost the, the donut or something like that. I guess it could be, uh, you know, that I just uh, jarred a hole in the manifold or something, but it's not running any different, it's just a lot louder. So it might be a long Six or seven hours. Seven or eight hours. Smooth sailing has stopped. We uh, were running along and it got quite loud, which there's quite a large gap we see there uh, in the donut right off the manifold. It looks like the donut completely gone. Now after that, so we were running, she was loud for a little bit. After that we started uh, losing power. Going up the hill, strain come on, she started bucking and slowing down. So we hobbled here to the closest, safest off site or off road center or gas station. Now we're having a look. We can get more cool. Uh -huh. We can get more cool. Mm. That don't make sense. Believe me, you didn't make it. Hello? You didn't make her heard. Hey. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. We're just pulling the thermostat here now. Right. Well, if it was the if it was the thermostat, which it seems like he's sticky, if it was that, I hope we never cooked her. No. You never. Well, you that know. Home? She, if she, she 
she'd be knocking her brains out. If that motor was, if that 350s, when they go from overheating, she'll usually get a bad knock on her. Oh, uh, I don't believe we got that issue, I no. do. No. No, no, you can usually hear them. Like I said, I'm after blowing them up yourself over the years, and it takes a lot to do it, but when they blow, you'll usually know. You'll you'll lose a connecting rod or something big, like it's usually catastrophic when they go. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's it for today, guys. We made it to Gooby's, no distance at all. We did everything we could there. Um, couldn't get it back running. Ended up pulling the thermostat, started it up, hammered down for maybe one and a half, two kilometers. It ran great until I guess it warmed up enough that it uh, just quit again. So we hobbled back to the gas station and parked it so I guess we'll have to figure out a way to come get it trailer it or something um, yeah that's basically it for today we got we're still a solid five hours from home so really unfortunate that we're gonna have to come back and haul it somehow like that just brutal but that's it we're thinking it's a water pump at this point which is not something we're prepared to swap out or have the parts to do anything with there where she is, so we'll see. 6 p.m. here now, guys. I know I already basically ended the video, but I ended it on a bad note because I was real upset in the moment. Feeling pretty down, still feeling down, but we decided to stop for some good food. We've been just chatting about the idea of it and stuff, and uh, It'll all work out, we'll figure it out. We're still trying to figure out how to get it home now. So we're kind of in this odd predicament. So you have to wait till the next video to see what happens. If we just abandon it at a gas station, if we try to sell it off in there, or what we come up with for getting it home. It's uh, actually proven to be very difficult to get something with a 3500 series rear axle to transport. There's uh, nothing is, just, is big enough unless you have a big gooseneck trailer or a real big flatbed truck or something. So we're trying to work it out. You have to wait till the next video. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel because you'll be wanting to follow this project to see what comes next. We'll see you in the next video. Towing by rope on a highway is entirely illegal. While this Vandura isn't very heavy, it is too wide to fit on any normal car hauler trailer. The nose is too wide to fit on any type of rental two-wheel dolly. To have a tow truck come, load it aboard, and bring it the five plus hours back to my house could cost thousands of dollars. At this point, we are without option. Do we leave it at the gas station, call it a dead loss, and let it rot? Do we add a couple thousand dollars to the project budget to get it towed home? These are questions that we don't immediately have answers to and that you're going to have to wait till the next episode to figure out. Please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think we should do. Hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if it's your first time here. And make sure you tune in to see what's going to happen with this project.